Cherry Blossom family, boy is back. Uh, I'm back. Same shirt as yesterday. No, it's here. It's the same day. I'm making I made two videos on one day. I just didn't change my shirt. So um, let's talk a little bit today. We're actually going to get back to educating. So let's talk about uh, something that you might have probably have seen, whether in your dispensary or your CBD store. Um, we're going to start talking a little bit more about like dabbing, where we think that this industry is going to go, like both THC and CBD. Uh, people are going to start uh, vaping and dabbing more. Vaping is already very big, has a very big footprint in, within the industry. But not just dabbing. I should, let's, take, let's take that back. Different extracts, different ways that this, this plant has been extracted and how those extracts are being utilized, what type of products those are going in. And maybe we're trying some of those, but we will be talking about dabbing and different sorts of extractions, that's for sure. So today, <clears throat> everyone's familiar with CBD isolate. And if you're not, let's talk about what that is. CBD isolate is basically... Uh, 99% pure CBD usually comes in either like some sort of block, like crystalline block or powder. Um, maybe like a block, but you know, solid, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, I just envision a block or like a ball of right, uh, which eventually gets broken up into something like this. Um, and what is this powder used for? Like people, most people use it for, you know, CBD is a strong antioxidant, but most people use CBD for about five different reasons. So that is uh, sleep, inflammation, uh, to it really very effective at relieving anxiety, uh, boosting mood, stress response, like, you know, getting calming yourself, kind of some sort of homeostasis, uh, but those reasons. So how does it get to this point? So it starts as a full spectrum extract. So the first stage converts to full, full spectrum CBD uh, and then broad spectrum CBD kind of like remediating some of the THC. The second stage separates the terpenes, lipids, waxes through freezing, isolating the CBD and the final stage carries out the conversion of CBDA, which is in its dormant state into CBD. Um, <clears throat> and now what you can take from this is the addition of terpenes. And this really isn't terpenes, but for the sake of this conversation, we're going to say this is. So terpsilate is the addition of terpenes, excuse me, the fusion of terpenes and isolate. So you would take this and drop this on here and permeate this with different perfumey, uh, um, <clears throat> aromatic terpenes, but they also have their own individual, you know, uh, uh, um, therapeutic benefits. Myrcene, limonene, linalool, uh, what else we have? Camphene, uh, terpenaline, humulene, so all these things, and you can get a more guided experience. Use this in edibles, you can dab it, what have you. Uh, and that's it, that's really it, terpsilate. Just as the name is, it is how it sounds. So that's all for today. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. And we'll be back with another video in a couple of days.